Hello everybody, Model Royal Week Hope here, Jacob. Uh hope everybody's well. Uh I'm here with the first review of twenty fourteen with new tripod and camera. And today I'm here to review a Helgen model, as you can see here. And um yeah, so let's get on with it straight away, might as well. As you can see, it is class thirty three. Uh, 33029 Glen Loy in West Coast Railway Company uh, Maroon um, the new camera can focus but can be a bit iffy sometimes you're going to have to bear with it uh, I might have to intervene sometimes like now no I just have to wait for it to do it himself right as we all know the Helgen packaging is actually quite good um, so this uh, this foam is actually quite good, um, as it, it I mean it protects everything and it actually serves quite well to put your locos on <laughs> when you're servicing them. Um, if we have a look here at the instructions, we've got the 33 instructions. This is uh, just saying thank you for purchasing the model. Um, then it also gives a um, overview of the model itself. And I believe oh no that is, that bit is the um, the overview of the model itself and also um, what you should do to care for it and inside you got the buffer detail and it tells you how to chip and then on the back it has a locomotive history and um, that's the basic overview if you want to pause to read that you can go ahead uh, but yeah it's actually quite interesting to read about it um, but yeah I will let you do that if you want to buy this model um, right if we just come here, these are the, um, if it will focus in on them, yeah, there we go. Uh, these are the uh, train reporting numbers, which is basically the head code. Um, and these are, I'll show you in a minute, but these are, you basically cut these out and you put them um, in, uh, in the middle of the two windows in the cab. It basically shows what the locomotive is doing, where is it going and whatnot. So yeah, that's a quite a nice little addition, although they are quite flimsy, it's only paper, so um, may wear out. I don't know, I haven't done it yet, so there. And here is the locomotive in this wrap. There's that. Um, there were some um, detail, but I didn't bother with that. Um, that is in a, uh, a small container, my details pack basically. Uh, I've got some small containers with each detailing for each loco. Right, to get this out, all you have to do is simply lift it up like that, move the box out of the way, place that down gently, I'll move this box, and then we'll get to have a look at the uh, loco itself. I mean, it is actually a really nice locomotive and uh, runs really well, um, I've got to say that now, because obviously I've had this since Christmas and it's now uh, the end of February, so I know this runs well. Um, we just start from one end and make our way down the locomotive. We just start at the end here. Here you can see the uh, the uh, the main light there, which does light up, and there's also a light behind here, uh, and that's where those stickers or those pieces of card are meant to go to show the head code. Um, we've got the lamp brackets, I believe they are here, two on this side, and then two over here as well. And we've got the uh, these directionals here which are meant to be red but they really don't work very well that's one thing about Helgen is their lights aren't amazing um, yeah we've got the metal handrail some windscreen wipers where the horns are I think up here yep if we make our way down the side now there's the number 33029 and I mean this livery is amazing you can't see it very well here because of the light but it is actually a really nice livery. Uh, I do quite like it on the 33s. Not so much the 47s, but uh, I do like it on the 33. That's the logo there. West Coast Railway Company. Or oh, West Coast Railways, as it's here, but they are West Coast Railway Company. I mean, all the way down here, it's, it doesn't exactly lack detail. I mean, you've got the nice uh, grill here. Got some nice uh, etched uh, detail there. Got the logo, which is nice. Then you've got these windows here to go down the engine room. And then we've got the name. Let's see if I can tilt it so you can actually see it properly. There we go. 
Glen Loy. Now I don't know the details of this name or why it was named that or what it is. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on this to be honest. Um, but that's the name of the locomotive itself. And we've come to the other end, it's near enough identical, just with a coupler in, which I've put in myself. Uh, yeah, just to go through the, the basics now, uh, the weight, yeah, it's an alright weight, it's actually quite uh, quite heavy for such a small locomotive. We've got sprung buffers on both ends. Uh, the couplers, I believe, I can't see it very well, but they are not the normal NEM couplings, but they, these do come out. And they will go back in, so you can change the coupler around if you want to, so a KD or a, uh, one of those uh, kind of the um, European style ones. If we stay around the cab now, you'll see here that we've got the handrails going down there, which, if I just check off camera, yes, I believe they are separate. I mean, they were put on separately from the whole thing. And then we've also got the stickers up here saying about the overhead wires because that's where the kind of place it runs and if we go to the roof you can see there that I was correct a minute ago that is where the um, whistles go um, whistles? no, the horns go, that's what I mean that's the roof detail and you've got the fan over here with the other uh, cab and other uh, horns so yeah, I mean, it wasn't a massive a uh, review it isn't exactly a massive locomotive to be honest. Um, I'll do a running video in a separate one because at the moment I've got DC set up on the layout and this is DC. Uh, no, I've got DCC set up on the layout and this is DC. So yeah, I'll do that in a separate video. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching this review. Tell me what you think of this review, the style, the location, how I do it. Tell me any improvements in it, uh, as well. Uh, next review will maybe the class 70 or the IOAs. So yes, thank you very much for watching everybody. I will be back uh, soon with a running video of this and more reviews. Thank you very much and goodbye.